So today we're going to look at a tool called RE Toolkit. In the past, I've made videos about uh, Flare VM and a super quick way to get a a malware analysis or reverse engineering lab set up. But today we're going to look at this reverse engineers toolkit, and you can very easily find it by googling it. It'll take you to this guy's GitHub page. And then over on the right hand side, we see releases. We can click that, and the latest release at the time of this video is right here, this 2022.04 and you download an executable. And where I'm doing this in is a brand new Windows 10 VM. There's no tools or anything on it. So what RE Toolkit will allow you to do is it comes pre-bundled with a lot of tools in it. And the tools that he has is very, very uh, succinct and to the point. You can do custom installations, you can do compact installations, which gives you just the bare necessities, or you can do the full install. Highly suggest the full install. And once you select that, click next, next, finish, it'll go ahead and install. The install takes about uh, 10 to 12 minutes because there's a lot of tools and packages. I sped it up here for the video, but once that's done, what you'll be presented with is a shortcut on your desktop called RE Toolkit. Here I just open up the file location so we can go and find where the actual files and things are located at. Um, you don't have to do this, but this just gives you raw access to those binaries if you just kind of want to see what's in there. You can also click on the desktop shortcut and here we see things you know, it helps you with auto IT, gives you debuggers, uh, decompilers like Ghidra and dissemblers, helps you with Delphi and .NET. Here we see DNSpy, that's fantastic. Elf, if you want to take a look at those. Various hex editors, absolutely. Network things, OLE stuff for Microsoft Documents, PE analyzers. Programming to help you program out in either C or assembly. Unpacking various utilities like CyberChef. Yeah, every single one of these tools is absolutely to the point of being able to set up a lab very, very quickly and analyze files. The only couple of recommendations that I would make that uh, this doesn't install, and that's probably due to licensing reasons or something, um, is Wireshark. Wireshark is a very big one. The next one is some sort of uh, text editor like Sublime or Notepad++. And then the last one, even though we have Ida, or, uh, Ghidra uh, installed on through RE Toolkit, I would highly suggest getting Ida Pro uh, free version. And that's because Ida Pro is very, very prevalent in this career field um, and this, um, this hobby of reverse engineering and things. So being familiar with both Ghidra and Ida is very, very important. But if you all have any questions, hit us up at ringzerolabs.com.